Hello everyone, here's 5 productivity tips for G Suite. Tip number 1 is multiple Chrome logins. One of the biggest frustrations that people experience when starting out with G Suite is that G Suite and Chrome are not using the same account. People oftentimes sign into Google Chrome, the browser, using their personal email addresses and then into G Suite on the page with their work account. They'll be flipped back and forth between their work and personal Gmail, Google Drive, or other apps. We can solve this by having two Chromes on our computer, one used for our personal Gmail account and one used for our G Suite work account. To do this, sign into Chrome with your other account. Select your profile from Chrome and you'll see the other people section. These are the other accounts that Chrome is signed into. We can add our work account here. Select add. Give the user profile a name. Select the profile picture and make sure that this box is enabled, the create a desktop shortcut for this user option. Then select add. A new window will appear. Select sign in. Enter your email address and your password and you'll be signed into G Suite. You may have to select link data and the yes option and the turn on sync pop up. We now have two Chrome instances on our computer. If we look at our taskbar, there's one for my personal Chrome labeled with my initials and a certain color and one for my G Suite work account. When I open Chrome from the work version, my account is signed into both Chrome and G Suite. I can open either version of Chrome depending if I want to access only my personal Gmail account or the other for my work browsing session. You may want to right click this browser and pin it to your taskbar. Tip number two is the app bar. Most of us are used to clicking the app launcher to access our different applications. But did you know you can interact with the built-in productivity apps directly in Gmail and Google Drive? Along the right hand side of both Gmail and Google Drive, you can access your Google Calendar, Keep, and Tasks. Whether you are answering emails or working on files, you can quickly open a calendar pane, take notes, or create tasks. Select an app, like your calendar, where you'll see all of your upcoming meetings, and you can also schedule them directly within the pop-out pane. Just select a time to create a brand new calendar entry. You can also select Google Keep to quickly jot down notes that will save automatically, and use the Tasks app in the app bar to assign yourself tasks from different locations. Tip number three is opening multiple emails with shortcuts. Many people have used Outlook or you may be coming from Outlook to G Suite. You may get frustrated that it seems like at first glance you can only open one email at a time to answer it. You can open emails in separate tabs and in new windows with the click of a button. Use the shortcut of control and click to open the email in a different tab. This works whether you are creating a new email or you are clicking an email in your inbox. Remember, press control and click to open the link in a brand new tab on your browser. You can also use shift and click to open that link, email, or brand new email in a new window. Tip number four is the explore feature. Google Sheets is a fantastic spreadsheet application, but did you know it can help you with your work using its own insights? When working on any Google Sheet with information within it, Select the Explore option in the bottom right hand corner. This will open the Explore pane where you can ask questions about the data on your sheet like averages, sums, and other questions. It will read your sheet and give you recommendations like adding charts, pivot tables, and other options. Select these options to add them directly to your sheet or use the Answer portion to ask questions about your sheet quickly. Tip number five is the address bar shortcut URLs. If you're constantly creating new files and also want to be more productive, try address bar shortcut URLs. Rather than accessing Google Drive and then heading to new, you can enter a quick command in the address bar of Google Chrome. You can create new Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, and Forms from the taskbar. Just create a new tab by selecting the plus option or using Control T and then enter the address of doc.new to create a new document. That will immediately create a new blank document within your drive. You can use that shortcut for all the major file processing apps like sheets, slides, and forms. Just replace doc with the app name. 
So if you wanted to create a new spreadsheet, use the shortcut of sheet.new in the address bar, slide.new for new presentation, and form.new for brand new Google Form. These are just some helpful productivity tips in Google Suite. What are your favorite tips and tricks? Let us know below. And if you like this video, remember to like it and subscribe to our channel to see more content like this.